Now with Emmy-winning documentarian Ken Burns, part of our ongoing series, American Autocracy, It Could Happen Here. Um, Ken Sue Gordon, who's a former deputy director of national intelligence, said something at our table, not on the air. Uh, I don't think she'd mind if I, if I shared this with you. Um, she, she said, you know, and she's one of these people who loves her country, is a, is a public servant, not a political player. But she said, you know, people need to think of this as it's not inevitable that we make it to 300. And I kind of was like, what? <laughs> and, and, and this idea that that's what this election is about, does your study of history suggest that we can deepen our thoughts, that we can focus our attention and really make a choice in November that understands that, that truth that she voiced here? Yeah, I, I mean, I just want to make it, Nicole, at this point, I want to make it to 250, uh, <laughs> which is 2026. You know, Four the years. revolution started in yeah. 75, and um, our, our film is going to come out in, in, in 25, the 250th anniversary of the beginning of the war. But if you count from July 4th, I just want to reach there, you know, out of breath, perhaps, a little sweaty, sliding in under the tag, but, you know, we've got to do it. There's wonderful character that we've, we've met in the course of doing the American Revolution that's Thomas Paine who comes from England kind of a failure in everything except understanding what exactly this business is and he said man finds that the strength and powers of despotism consist wholly in the fear of resisting it and that in order to be free it is sufficient that he wills it and so there's a big challenge for us, as it was back in 1776, is that we have to actually understand what the stakes are. And unfortunately, there's so much disinformation that we don't have that confidence that we know how it's going to turn out. If everybody who voted for Joe Biden um, votes again, then we're home free if they're distributed exactly the way, the way they were distributed in Georgia and Arizona, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and New Hampshire, etc. But we don't have those assurances, and a lot of it has to do with this flirtation, which you, you see everywhere in the world, for the trains to run on time. And what will it take for us to recapture our um, birthright, which was this idea that we didn't extend to everyone, not women, not Native Americans, not, not blacks, enslaved or free, but we, we, we initiated this series of revolutions that took place um, that spread over the world. And now we see a great and I suppose lawful retrenchment as those interests. You know, people talk about the deep state. If there was a deep state, Donald Trump would have disappeared a long time ago, right? Mm -hmm. the, the deep state are just the moneyed interests and the people who want the simple way, the shortest distance between two points. And that doesn't work in a democracy when we have so many competing uh, interests. And so it's just be on guard for these things. The, finally, at the end of the day, if you don't vote and you wake up having lost this, it's on us. It's on us. Oh, we've got chills. Um, can we continue to have these conversations this year? And, and, and I guess I'm making for the next three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We we have to keep having you know the, the the conversations to talk about it. It's so interesting. You know, I, I I was reading up on Huey Long, thinking about talking to you about this demagoguery. That nonetheless, people in Louisiana would say, "Oh, he's delivering good to the poor and hospitals and roads and bridges, and he did all that infrastructure stuff that." Oh, Joe Biden is doing and is being ridiculed and voted against, though people are happy to go back to their districts and take credit for it. But at one point, he told a group of senators that a mob would attack the Capitol bent on hanging them from the rafters. Oh and Huey Long said, I have to determine, Huey Long said, whether I will stay and be hung with you or go out and lead the mob. That's incredible. I mean, it's all in there, right? Nobody laughed. Yeah, we it's have all to, in there. I mean, yeah. Mark Twain said history doesn't repeat itself; it rhymes, and that's what we're hearing. Are these dangerous, dangerous rhymes? And we are obligated to sort of wake up and really sort of see who, what, who this man is, what the what the situation is, and and save our democracy. And only we can do it. It happens at the ballot box. All right, we're going to continue to call on you. Whenever I ask people on live TV, it's hard to say no, so we'll continue to call on you. Thank you so much for starting the conversation with us today. I'll be here. Ken's new digital platform, Unum, allows you to navigate American history through Ken's vast body of award-winning films. A quick break for us. We'll be right back.